and welcome to this video on the NT1100, an addition to our already extensive touring range. Now this is designed to be a sporty tourer and it is also designed that you can use it every day on those shorter commutes or every day on those longer journeys. If we look at the front, you'll notice we have a 17 inch wheel. That is the perfect balance so that we've got good turning ability and equally good stability. The tyre itself is mounted onto the alloy wheel, which is fine die cast. All that means is that they can make the centre hub hollow, making it lighter weight, which again is a benefit to uh, the riding of the machine. And a little attention to detail, we've popped on there 90 degree uh, valve caps, so it's easy to check your tyre pressure and adjust if necessary. Now this is a powerful bike. So we need powerful braking as well. This has twin 310 millimeter discs and each of them has a four piston radially mounted um, caliper to slow them down. They're equally mounted to inverted forks. So these are 43 millimeter Showa big piston separate function forks. What does that mean? Well, Shower is the manufacturer and each fork is having a separate function. It's as simple as that. So one will do the springing action and one will do the damping action rather than both forks doing both. That means they can focus on their designated job and do it even better. And the fact that they're big piston means that they're even more linear when it comes to the response. Above those, we have our LED lighting. So the bike has full LED lighting all the way around. So uh, when you're riding on normally, when you pop on your, your main beam as well, and that is gonna give us a real good level of visibility. And added to that, these uh, position markers, they will be illuminated all the while that you're riding as well. You may notice that we've got this tall screen here. This is in the highest position to give the most uh, protection for the rider and equally we've got these side deflectors as well. So if we just push that down, we can pop it into its lowest position so we can get a little bit of uh, more airflow to the rider if they want it. As we go back, you'll notice that this didn't move. This is the sun shade for the TFT screen, that's six and a half inches. And that's where we're going to get the information about our revs, what mode we're in, because we have different modes on this one. We can have urban, we've got a rain mode, we've got touring mode, and equally, there are two user modes where you can select what levels you want between power, uh, Honda selectable torque control and wheelie control, and equally, engine braking. So the bike will have its own level of engine braking, but by its fueling, it can reduce that when you're actually off the throttle and decelerating. So you can personalize those in user one and user two. That is also the screen where you're going to see the replication of your phone, whether you're um, an Android or an Apple user, Apple's CarPlay, Android Auto can be displayed up there and we have a USB socket down there to plug your phone in, making sure it's nicely topped up and communicating with the machine. And our controls on the left hand side here, they will actually allow us to scroll through the different uh, pages we've got on there. It will also allow us to select the different levels of, for instance, the, uh, the engine braking. They do have our standard heated grips, which on a touring machine you're absolutely going to want, as is cruise controller standard. The fuel tank on this bike is exactly the right size. So 20 litres, that should get you almost a 250 mile range on this machine. Obviously, rider style will affect things like that. Um, that's because the motor, the power plant of this uh, particular bike is the 1084cc parallel twin that we've seen on things like the Africa Twin. Now it has been tuned differently for this bike because we're going to want higher speeds, more progressive acceleration as well. So this is going to give us 75 kilowatts of power at 7,500 revs and importantly 104 newton meters of torque to drive that rear wheel from 6,250 revs. How we can do that is because we have um, our ride-by-wire throttle, we have a really clever um, fueling system on there and it's an inherently great design of engine. So we can make it more compact by having something called Unicam. 
rather than having a double overhead cam, we have a single uh, overhead cam, and then we have rockers that will follow that cam, but it allows us to have exactly the right angles on the inlet and the exhaust valves to get good efficiency and good power from this unit. It also has a 270 degree crank, and that means it's going to give a really nice irregular beat coming out of the exhaust pipe of this bike. Now this particular one is a manual, we have a clutch lever on here, six speed transmission, absolutely fantastic. Some people will prefer the DCT, our dual clutch transmission, and with that machine you can still ride it like a manual and change gears with your thumb on the left hand side. Um, you can put it into D where it will um, maximise the fuel efficiency for you and, and change up in the gears automatically for you, but give you really good efficiency from a fuel economy point of view. Then you've got S modes, one, two, and three. And the higher the number, the more aggressive it gets, so the higher it will actually rev before it changes gear to give you that more sporty response. So you've got various options with dual clutch transmission. You can ride it in an automatic mode, or you can actually uh, adjust it yourself with the buttons. If you want the manual version like this, as an accessory, you can actually get a quick shifter. And the quick shifter is both up and down, and it has auto blip, which is the question people always ask. And yes, you will be changing gear unnecessarily just to hear it, because it's fantastic. The seat on this machine, obviously, is where you're going to spend a lot of time on those longer journeys, and it's got a good height of 820 millimeters. Now, it looks a little bit higher here because it's on the center stand. Important to know, that is a standard feature on this bike. And of course, if you're doing long journeys, it makes maintenance of the chain, just keeping it lubed up, that little bit easier. At the back of the bike is where your pillion seat is going to be, which gives them a really nice position to be sat in. Uh, really comfortable ergonomics where our rear foot pegs are uh, to make sure they're as comfortable as possible again on those long journeys. Now the bike does come as standard with panniers as well. So the, the left one has a 33 litre capacity and the right one has a 32 litre capacity. So lots of opportunities there for, for storing uh, various items. Now, if you want to take one of those off, it is really, really simple. You just pop your key in, same key as the ignition, unlock it, pull the handle up, and you're good to go. Rear suspension, so what's controlling this, uh, it's again a 17 inch wheel at the back with a 180 uh, section, which is going to transmit all that power onto the road to get you going. Making sure it stays in contact with the road is the Honda ProLink suspension. Now you can adjust the preload on that. We've got a little hydraulic dial down here, so you can set it if it's just you, if it's you and a passenger, and if you've got luggage on there as well. Really easy to adjust. And just as we've got at the front, the lights at the back are also LED, looking stylish and keeping you safer because you're more visible on the road. Thank you for watching this video on the NT 1100. If you'd like more information, then please visit honda.co.uk.